It's Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning, and I can't tell you how much I needed this segment today. Really? Oh, really? Okay. Because all four of my therapists have canceled all on four. me this week. <laughs> my regular uh-huh. one and my three massage therapists, too. Oh. So, yeah. Why do you have three of those? Why well, I have one for the top half and uh, two for the bottom half. No, they, so, they cover the whole. I'm feeling it. pretty yeah. pent up today <laughs> and ready to release oh, with a brand right. new edition oh, of no, What's no, no, On no. Your Mind. <laughs> it's where we go around the room and find out what each member of the morning show has been thinking about lately. Brooke, let's start with you. Tell us what's been on your mind. Alexis. Brooke. Oh, oh Alexis has been on your mind. Oh. Oh. Are you afraid of me? Of you? <laughs> <laughs> now, I want you to answer, and I want you to look me in the eyes oh. and tell me, are you afraid it's of me? Intimidating. No, you I'm not afraid of you. you. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure. Because, okay, last week there was a big debacle ordering mm-hmm. some Starbucks, okay? Oh All I said was, you know, Alexis wanted to get to the $15 so she could mm-hmm. get the free delivery. I mm-hmm. said, oh, yeah, great. Add a little platter in for me. Cool. I'll do uh-huh. that. Yeah. And then when I said, okay, how much do I owe you? Oh, don't worry about it. I'm like, what? Um, but I want to I pay you yeah. what I owe you. And, I oh, I don't saying. like asking people for money is what she told me. What? But I'm you like, just what? ordered something. I'm it, not, you're not asking me out. for money. I'm just paying for the food that I just got. Yeah. And, okay, fine. It's it's $6.27, but don't worry about the cents. <laughs> I just wanted to give you money. It's not just you. It's just people in general. So is it like a whole generational thing for anybody that's like around 23? They don't like to get paid for what they did? I I mean, I like getting paid. I just don't like asking for it. I don't know. Yeah. It's it's one thing if you're asking to borrow money, but if she literally ordered $6 worth of something, you'd be like, hey, you owe me six bucks. Yeah. I don't know, but it's just like you're like a mom and stuff. Oh, here it goes. I am not old enough to be your mother. (laughs) I have young children that are not in their 20s. Like, mom, you know, it's like, just like tension. No, she's like an older sister. It's not a mom. She insults me. All right, now I want you to be afraid of me. Okay, you better be afraid of me now. I'm never paying you again for any Starbucks anymore. You hear her, young lady? Yeah, I'm just saying, ask for what you deserve. I was just trying to give you some empowerment. That's the type of drama that we get in our office. Two wow, blonde Alexis. women arguing over <laughs> Starbucks orders. I'm just saying. <laughs> just thought you should ask for the money that this I owed you. Okay, okay. Yeah, I know. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna hear about this argument for months. Yeah, we will, Jeff. Wow. Let's just go to Jose. So, Jose, tell us what you've been thinking about lately. Well, what I've been thinking about lately is I can totally tell it's cuffing season. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Because in the last two weeks. I've probably been asked out more by girls randomly on online. Oh, they're getting desperate. Than in the entire <laughs> year. Exactly, Brooke. <laughs> don't think I don't see you, ladies. You had all year to slide in my DMs. Uh-huh. And all of a sudden, the, the weather's chilly. Christmas is coming, yeah. maybe. You know, around the corner, I mean. it's You can smell it. And boom! Hey, Jose, want to go out for drinks? <laughs> Why is that bad, though? I yeah. thought that that's what you've yeah. been, like, asking oh, for all year long. Now that you get oh, it, you don't want it? But midsummer, you don't want to show me <laughs> off on a beach, but all of a sudden when it's cuddling <laughs> season and no one's going to see me and I have to get you gifts, you love me. Is it you just, text yeah. me and you want say, me. That's better than nothing. No, yeah. I see. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. They're playing games, Jeff. You see them? They're doing it right now. Yeah. Okay, so what I'm announcing, a huge <laughs> announcement is this. Is this thing on? Uh-huh. It is. Oh, Everyone's no. listening. Oh, I actually unplugged it on this. All okay. right. Oh, no. Big announcement. Announcement. Mm-hmm. I will not oh. be dating for the rest mm. of the 2020 season. Mm. Just because wow. you're too cheap to buy someone a gift? <laughs> I'm off the table. Okay. Oh. Okay, Brooke. Okay. And okay. no, I'm not Listen. too cheap. It's they when, don't want me for me. Okay? When you complain about being single, <laughs> don't. Yeah. I don't want to okay. date any oh, of oh, these okay. gold diggers. Oh, I don't yes. have wow. gold, gold for diggers. You. Yes. Okay. That's, what? This and, would have been a really bold announcement if you had made it like mid June, but <laughs> <laughs> you're taking yourself off the table halfway through October. There may be a month and a half left, okay. but I'm done, <laughs> Jeffrey. It, this, okay. it would have been Close. a good announcement. It's like telling your kids that they're not getting Christmas gifts on Christmas <laughs> yeah. night. Like well, maybe give them a little bit more warning. You didn't yeah. ask all year, and all of a sudden, a week before Christmas, you want to oh. give Timmy? No! Okay. Santa's shop is all closed, right. and Jose's shop, all. my shop oh, is also is, closed. This this is is nobody wants right. a shop anymore. <laughs> Sorry, ladies. Yeah. Gonna have to wait till next year to yeah. try and get with yeah. Jose. Sorry. Did you hear the collective? Aww. Yeah. <laughs> Social media coordinator Alexis, tell us what's been on your mind. So the other day, I was working at the coffee shop, and I was alone on the floor. 
floor, and a man comes in. Wait, hold on, hold on. Don't say alone on the floor. You were yeah. like alone in the place. You working like by yourself. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I was alone working. There you okay. go. <laughs> and, <laughs> Sounds um, like you're like sleeping. <laughs> sorry. A man came in screaming at the customers. Like, I think he's obviously oh. on drugs. Yeah. He's making loops, screaming. What? And you're yeah. the only employee there? Yes. So I did what employees should do, and I booked it to the back room. <laughs> I hit. I was you like. ran away? Oh, yeah. I, it was like flight or fight. Yeah, I, I think like, that's okay. <laughs> yeah. So I hid back there, and I was like kind of listening. I was like, surely he'll leave. It was like a minute and then Still you found out screaming all he was asking for was how much money he owed you and you didn't want to tell him <laughs> no. that, what it came down to? <laughs> that would be very scary uh-huh. but no so i wait back there no one takes care of it so i'm like fine no, no customers <laughs> no. come to my rescue <laughs> okay. did you call the store manager or anything no 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 i was just oh. thinking someone would fix it for me you okay. know so, so like what happened everything. i walk back out there and then that's when he comes up to me and he starts screaming that he wants a cup of boiling water Huh. So I'm like, oh, obviously I'll give it to him. What I mean, <laughs> so we, what? So we could throw it in your face? Yeah. Are you crazy? I was gonna book it to basically man. a weapon. Well, I was gonna book it back, you know, <laughs> just shut the door. Okay. So anyway, I give it to him. He spills like half of it on himself and is like oh, screaming at people no. again. But he does leave and wanders like into the freeway. And now he's gonna sue the company for it. <laughs> he literally like, walked in the road. But okay. Anyways, I just want to let you guys know because now that I know that I will. Run if anything happens. Like oh. as my coworkers, I want you to know if anything happens in here. Okay, I'm out. Don't count okay. on me. I got right. you. Bye bye. Guess too. what? You didn't have to make that announcement. <laughs> okay. We yeah. already kind of assumed that would be the case. <laughs> okay. I also <laughs> learned if you scream and freak out, Alexis will do whatever you want. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Take two lessons from that. It's a good point, <laughs> Jeffrey. What's on your mind? I was trying to get into the spirit over the weekend, so I watched a scary movie. Okay. Oh, I've been thinking about it. I'm so scared. I put on a 90s slasher film that I'd never seen before called Urban Legend. All right. Already it sounds terrible. Ever heard of it? But I've good, terrible. It. Stars Jared Leto, Rebecca Gayhart, Ooh. and Tara Reid. Okay, talk okay. to me. So Tara bas- Reid. Basically, it's all about these urban legends that are actually happening to this group of college kids. Okay. Ooh. And as I'm watching it, I realize two things. One... Scary movies are way different now than they were back in the 90s. How so? Really? Well, now you can't go 10 minutes into a movie without a bunch of people's heads flying off. Yeah. There's blood screaming yeah. all over the place. A lot more violence. Yeah, the other ones were, were much more easy and fun to watch. Yeah. Mm. Two, I've literally never heard of any of these urban legends before. What was some of them? The Hatchet Man legend. What's that one? Mm. An unnamed killer goes and targets random college campuses and kills people on them. You ever heard of this one? I I I mean, give me some Bloody Mary and we can talk. They they did do Bloody Mary in there. I recognize that one. The what about the aren't you glad you didn't turn on the light legend? What? That huh? is too long of a name yeah. for a legend. It's <laughs> a catchier name. But that's where your roommate gets strangled while you're in the room and you didn't know because you didn't turn on the light. Dude, Whoa, wait, what are you, why are you in the same room in the dark with your roommate when they're making noises like it's that college, and you bro. think it's okay? It's college, bro. <laughs> okay. Think about yeah. the noises that happen in the dark in college. Okay. Usually that's a good thing. I'm like, yeah, yeah. bro, I mean, get it done, dog. And yeah. then, then there's the old lady dries a wet dog in the microwave legend. That's what? the full name? Never heard <laughs> yeah, Never heard of that one? No. You put your wet dog in the microwave what? and you turn it on. And it must be a very small dog. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's an, Again, I've never heard of any of these legends before, so I'm watching all this just thinking, what's going on? So the Chihuahua killer is out there? Is that what you're telling <laughs> no. us? And Something she's a grandma? Like, yeah, and then no. the other overwhelming thought that I had was, my God. Rebecca Gayhart is so sexy. <laughs> Why was she not in more movies? I can't think of who she is. Yeah, she old. I can't think of her face. That's the thing. She's not in a lot of movies. Oh, okay. Look her up. She's beautiful, okay. uh. but not nearly as beautiful as Jared Leto. Does she make out with Jared Leto? Yeah. Does she make out with Jared Leto? She wants That's to, but I... Jared Leto's too good for her. Yeah. Wow. No surprise. He's got a better eyeliner game. That's he the thing. He does. <laughs> yeah. He hasn't aged a day in like 25 years. Yeah, he's he never sexy. Will. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I know. I'm gonna go watch more Jared Leto after okay. this. <laughs> Good choice. Text into seven eight five nine two. Tell us what you've been thinking about lately, positive or negative. You can get it off your chest, and we'll read your text coming up right after this.